Hello friends, my name is Radham. Today we will discuss about a topic resource smoothing. Uh, friend, this is a very important topic with respect to project management or PMI, project management body of knowledge. Uh, this topic is very important and uh, I will try my level best to explain you the concept of resource smoothing in a very easy to understand manner friend so that everyone can understand and it can be helpful for you in your uh, educational life or your uh, professional life. Uh, friend, if we talk about with respect to exam point of view, if you are a student and studying in university and planning to give exam of project management, so or you are planning to give exam of PMP, so friend, resource smoothing is a very important topic. With respect to exam point of view, you will definitely see uh, this uh, these this topic in <coughs> in the exam, and uh, they will in the exam or especially in the PMP exam they will check your concept related to resource smoothing and at least uh, five to six questions you will definitely see which are directly related to resource smoothing your concept related to resource smoothing will definitely be checked so uh, friend if you are planning to give exam of PMP or you are uh, you have to give exam of project management in university so I'm 100% sure that you will definitely see this topic in the exam so you must have the clear visibility about this topic and uh, your concept should be very clear here uh, let me tell you that if we talk about PMP exam they will uh, they will not uh, practically you don't need to do the resource smoothing uh, basically you sh your concept related to resource smoothing should be clear so that you can uh, clear the exam so friend this is very important that your concepts your uh, knowledge uh, your understanding about resource smoothing should be clear so that you can uh, easily pass the exam and you can clear the questions especially which are related to resource smoothing the second aspect of uh, this video is that friend if you are a professional uh, pr project manager and working in any organization so friend as a project manager your planning skills and resource um, uh, management should be very good you should be able to manage the resources properly and in a uh, well managed way so here this is very important that uh, you should know the resource smoothing the advantages of using the resource smoothing and how we you can use the this technique for resource optimization and successfully complete the pro uh, project so uh, 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 with respect to exam point of view or with respect to uh, the professional project management uh, th this topic is very important and uh, I will try my level best to explain you the concept without any nitty-gritties of project management in a very simple and easy to understand manner so uh, friend let's start uh, first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start resource smoothing just see there are two terms resource smoothing uh, resource what is resource first of all see friend as a project manager you should be able to manage the resource resource can be physical like hardware like computer uh, any network devices uh, any physical devices <coughs> so this is a type of resource resource can be human resource like software engineers uh, quality assurance your uh, solution architect database or ar database administrator I'm uh, talking about uh, the software uh, human resource uh, the, there are some other resource as well for example if you are talking about construction uh, industry so the uh, field level resources which are putting efforts in the field so also these are the uh, types of resources so a resource is basically uh, uh, can be physical uh, like hardware uh, like computer uh, any other physical uh, resource any hardware some sort of this or it can be a human resource like software engineer uh, like solution architect uh, any other type of human resource so friend as a project manager this is very very important that you should be able to manage your resources here very important concept I want to share with you as a uh, as a project manager this is very important friend see uh, whenever a project has assigned to you and you have to start a project 
basically as a project manager you have to manage the resources here very important concept is that you as a project manager you should not to become a resource of a project try to understand the difference here very important factor you should not to become a resource of a project you should as a project manager you should be able to manage the resources if you are managing the resources you are a good project manager and if you are not managing the resources and you are just become a resource by yourself for a project so it is not a good uh, sign for a project manager so uh, what does it mean by managing the resources it means that uh, friend you are managing the physical resources you are managing the human resources when it's not needed when it's needed when have to <coughs> when have to utilize that particular resource when don't need to utilize that resource so as a project manager your mind should be very clear that when to use which resource okay and how to use that particular resource so friend this is very important that uh, resource uh, utilization is very important concept of project manager now coming towards the smoothing uh, friend a uh, smoothing uh, you just uh, uh, you can just imagine the smoothing means uh, may uh, just may very uh, simple example i want to give you for for example uh, you have seen uh, the construction of a road okay you have seen that whenever they put uh, some dammer or some uh, stones on a road they uh, they uh, roll the uh, bulldozer or uh, i mean bulldozer or some sort of uh, you can say some heavy machine on the road the purpose of uh, uh, executing or running the uh, running the heavy machine on the uh, road is that it will smoothen the road smoothen means the peaks and tufts the highs and uh, highs and toes should be smoothen on the road are you are you are you getting my point smoothen means the peaks and tuff uh, the highs and toes should be smoothen it will come on the same level so that's why we do like that on the road so the same concept here is uh, as well by resource smoothing means that you use the resource smoothing when you have to optimize the resource and you cannot extend the schedule since you cannot extend the schedule the project completion date and the critical path will stay the same here the activities cannot be delayed more than that their total and free float using float at this technique will cause you to lose some flexibility from your path however the schedule will be optimized efficient and cost effective in resource smoothing you must be careful to avoid any delays in activity as it may affect your critical path see friend it was just uh, uh, it was just a definition it means that whenever the schedule is very tough and you cannot extend the date whatever you do you use the floats in the schedule float means the time which can be activity can be delayed but it will not delay your overall project timelines so using the concept of floats uh, we we smoothen the activities like it will not impact your project timeline it will not impact your critical path however using the float we will uh, we are optimizing the resource we are smoothing the resource just see uh, just see this picture here uh, this is the uh, picture you just see from here week one, they, these are the weeks and these are the hours just see from here the week 3 from week 3 4 5 you are you can see the resource uh, utilization in hours is less and then week 8 the resource optimization become very high after resource smoothing using these uh, floats and uh, slack what we have done just see from here uh, we have smoothing smoothen the resource what does it mean just see from here <coughs> now some from see here the week 3 week 4 week 8 and uh, week 5 week 6 so we have a smoothen the uh, weeks just see from here where the week 6 was the highest now here week 6 becomes the uh, on the average level you can say 
or the smoothen level what does it mean that we have increased the hours here in the previous weeks uh, or utilize the hours due to which the week 6 become on the smoothen level are you getting my point just see from here it was decreasing here however here it comes to the to some extent uh, it comes on average okay let me give you another example here from <coughs> let's say you want to apply for the PMP exam and have allocated 60 hours to study in three months this translates to 20 hours per month however while scheduling the date for the exam you find that the only available appointment is in four months now you have to distribute these 60 hours throughout four months meaning 15 hours per month this is an example of resource smoothing since you have enough time there is no need to use all 60 hours in three months you can ease the burden of these three months and use the four months as well are you getting my point are you getting uh, are you getting my point what we have done is that in a, since you have some time and uh, here comes the concept of float here comes the of concept of float that you have some time so you use the uh, float available in the uh, in the project and by using the float we have smoothened the resource that is called the concept of resource smoothing or uh, optimization technique so friend I hope you uh, like this video I have tried my level best to explain you the concept of resource smoothing in a um, very simple way I've tried my level best so hope you uh, like this video if you have still have any question please do ask from me I will try my level best to explain you as well so thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you